In 2011, uh, we were made aware of the uh, need for specific target targeting for men's health by one of our visiting speakers who work for the homeless. As a response to that, I approached St George's Crypt and offered to set up a drop-in service just one day a week uh, for homeless men and they took that up enthusiastically and so that runs uh, once a week on a Monday and we see all sorts of conditions, anything that presents ranging from injury, uh, neurological conditions, musculoskeletal conditions and virtually anything that comes. We help with advocacy, writing letters, treatment, on the spot, supply of walking aids or whatever else is needed. So it's a very immediate and flexible service. I find that, uh, that men who are homeless are very poor at keeping appointments, at getting to places on time, in complying with the system as it stands. But once we provide a flexible service that they can very easily access, I find that there's very little challenge and they're, they're very responsive, they take up the service and they're very glad to do so. The proudest part of my work at, at St George's Crypt, I think, is establishing trust with the uh, recipients that they're now in a position where they will uh, tell their friends, yeah, you can come, you can access this service, she's okay, you know, she, she'll treat you well. And what I find is that, that they know me as a person and, and they, they feel uh, comfortable in accessing the service. So I'm also very proud of the fact that there have been several uh, very serious cases that we've either uh, transferred into the uh, statutory services and, and that we've helped them very dramatically uh, at, at real points of needs and we've improved their health uh, very significantly. They've got a very uh, low level of self-esteem. They really know that their life is not going well for them and I, f I think that the, the greatest thing and the greatest message that changes that is to know that they are fully valuable. Just because they're homeless doesn't make them any less valuable or less deserving of, uh, of the services than any, other, than any other person. And, you know, somehow to get that message across that they're just as valuable and have the same needs as you and I. We're hoping that we can create a model service that can be uh, rolled out in other places in the country. Uh, it's got to be specific to the local needs, but we, we proved and we can show that the, uh, the need is there. And once you input the services at that point where, where the men are and target men in a comfortable way, they will take them up. And um, while students are regularly involved, we incorporate it into our courses, the needs for targeting men's health. And uh, we're hoping that that will just grow and grow. And save the health service considerable costs because we're on site before problems get worse.